A prominent American blogger was hacked to death on the streets of Dhaka. Avijad Roy, whose writings and secular views were controversial in this mostly Muslim nation, had been threatened by hardline extremists. Avijad Roy had worked with the Center for Inquiry in the U.S. Well, for more, I want to bring in Michael Dodora, who's the director of public policy for that center. Uh, he joins us by Skype from Washington. Uh, you knew Avijit. Just tell us who he was. And clearly, you know, this must be terrible news for, for all of you who, who, who worked with him. Thank you for having me on, and, and thank you for covering this story. Yeah, it's a, it's a tremendous loss, and it leaves a big hole uh, in terms of, of secular advocacy in, in Bangladesh. I knew uh, Avijit uh, for at least three or four years now. Uh, he reached out to our organization, had been writing articles for our organization, um, and was seeking really to to use our public policy initiatives to support some of the, the bloggers in Bangladesh who were facing uh, crackdowns from the government on their right to freedom of expression. Um, but but Abhijit's uh, advocacy on this issue goes way back uh, beyond just the last couple of years. In fact, in 2001, uh, what he's most well known for is founding the website Muktamona, which was dedicated to free thought uh, in in Bangladesh and in, in the surrounding areas. And so he he influenced a lot more than just people like me. He influenced a whole generation of of free thinkers and secularists in Bangladesh who were really looking for a platform and looking for someone who could uh, who could give them uh, an area to 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 speak out on issues that they cared about. So. You know, the interesting thing about Abhijit is that while he was critical of religion, yes, and, and specifically Islam, given its role in Bangladesh, uh, you know, broadly speaking, he was an advocate for the right to freedom of expression. His, uh, you know, his basis in founding Muktamona was to found a website that would allow people to have open discussion on issues like religion and politics, uh, guided by science, reason, uh, and critical thinking. And so... You know, what's so sad is that uh, the way in which he was was murdered was so brutal uh, and so callous uh, for someone who is just so kind and so open-minded. It's horrible. Yeah, I mean, from what we understand, he and his wife were attending a book fair and that they were attacked on the street uh, with meat cleavers. Uh, I mean, this is a very brutal attack. Um, and he joins, sadly, a long list of people who have been targeted for what they write and for what they say. I mean... Tell us about the death threats uh, that, that he had been getting as well. He had been getting death threats, uh, at least to my knowledge, the ones that I had known about, uh, for at least three years. And, and the scary thing about these death threats is that they were not coming from anonymous people. They were actually coming from individuals who uh, would, were using their Facebook and Twitter accounts to make these death threats. Uh, so what's so you know nerve-wracking about that is that the Bangladeshi government should really know uh, and be able to identify some of these people and then follow up on that and and try to track down who might be involved with this crime and who might be involved with with other attacks on on Bangladeshi bloggers um, so it's 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 really troubling uh, in that regard that these death threats had been coming for years and, and from known individuals uh, what we're hoping now obviously is that the Bangladeshi government uh, sees this this case is important and really uh, vigilantly uh, prosecutes the case. Um, we've got pictures coming out of Bangladesh. There has been reaction there on the ground to uh, his murder. Uh, a lot of students coming out and showing support there. Uh, this has touched a nerve, uh, touched a chord within Bangladesh. I mean, just tell me about freedom of press, freedom of expression in this in this nation. Well, you know, the thing about what's going on in Bangladesh is that really it stretches back to, uh, you know, the founding, the independence of Bangladesh uh, back in, 19, in 1971, uh, in the sense that what the recent upheaval has really been over uh, has been that the government has been uh, trying several of the uh, now Jamaat Islami officials who were involved with some atrocities that happened back then. And so a lot of what's going on right now is a, you have a secular government, or at least a government that, ha, that is purportedly secular, that's dealing with a lot of challenges with very large social groups, uh, especially Jamani Islami, which has, a lot, you know, which has a lot of power to organize protests and make demands on the government. And the government, unfortunately, what it's done, instead of protecting the principles uh, of, of the secular government uh, as it was founded, 
Uh, what it's done, unfortunately, is it's uh, given over to some of the, the demands of the Islamic extremists and jailed atheist bloggers, jailed other bloggers who have been critical of, uh, of Islamic extremism and maybe some of the government's actions. So you have a, co a country that, you know, could be and should be a beacon for freedom of expression and has a long history of rationalists and secularists and free thinkers speaking out. But right now the government uh, is in a tough situation, and, and unfortunately I don't think they've handled it. Uh, I don't think they've handled it wisely. And so you have uh, really a tenuous position for anyone who wants to freely speak their mind being afraid uh, not only that maybe the government will come and arrest them, but if the government doesn't come arrest them, the government's actually not going to protect them from other extremists in society who might come to kill them. And uh, there are a number of bloggers, other than Abhijit, who right now have been hiding in their house for the last year or two just because they're scared and, and they don't know what to do. Okay, Michael Vidora, thank you so much for giving us the background and also uh, some yeah. details on the man who was murdered, Abhijit Roy a blogger who was killed in Bangladesh. Thanks very much for that.